Hello and welcome back to Fairhead. So, a few comments have mentioned there's some free stuff that's been uh, put into the map on the start, original starting farm. So, I've just spent a bit of time while it's raining and we can't do our hay from last time because we're in November and it's all wet, we're going to have to re-ted everything. I thought we'd go and collect all of that stuff, or as much of that stuff as we can, from the original starting farm. So I've got a bale of, uh, bale of silage here. Uh, I have loaded the other bales up. Uh, there is a tractor with the trailer at the original farm waiting to uh, drive back. But as you can see, the weather is pretty miserable. So really, it's going to limit the work that I can actually do. If it stops raining, I could go and get some herbicide on the fields because we now do have two IBCs of herbicide. Uh, the only thing that I've not actually loaded onto a trailer yet from the original farm is the solid fertiliser. Now we do have a spreader that we could use for it and it would make sense really to go over everything and just throw solid fertiliser over the lot. But while we can't, or shouldn't should I say, technically um, do any hay baling today I think it's going to be a day of tidying up picking up bales that sort of thing and uh, hoping we can do a little bit more in the way of progress later but there is one thing I do want to do before we go any further um, after we've picked up all this stuff from the other shop which is I want to get a straw blower, so we need to go and have a look at the store for one of them. We can leave this Merlot over here for now, because it will be needed later. So what we'll do is we'll go and get the class tractor, which is attached to a not very well loaded bale trailer, let's see. But it's still loaded, <laughs> so that'll do. Oh god, that's terrible. But we've got them. They're ours. So what's that, 38,500 litres of silage there, plus the silage that we've already uh, made. Hopefully it'll last a while. So we'll get this back to the farm and then we'll go and get the van, because that's got the uh, a small trailer with two pallets of herbicide on it. So I will get this back to the farm and I will see you once we've got the van back as well. Okay, so we've just driven, uh, just picked up the van and the sun has come out, but it looks like it is going to rain again, so we need to check the weather. So, do we take advantage of this little bit of time we've got and maybe attach the tether on and go and re-ted that grass, play it a bit more realistically? I'm not too sure. Hmm. And also I need to check first if there is a manure pit anywhere for the cows because if there's not giving them straw bedding might be a little bit uh, pointless because we can use the slurry but I would prefer to have them uh, producing manure rather than slurry so I'll get this van parked up around the back here of the cow shed as long as I don't hit the iron co there which I have done and again you know what we'll just go at the top like everything else turning circle on this is just terrible or maybe it's just my really bad driving we'll probably go with that actually <laughs> So that is another one complete. So what has the the Merlot is there? Get that in there for now. So let's have a look at where it doesn't have anything that says manure on the uh, info. Hmm. Come on. 
No, it certainly says slurry. Right, I guess we'll go out, go without the straw blower for now, which will give us a bit of a change of plan. So we'll actually go and get the Ford out. Take this baler off, if I can reverse it in a straight line. <laughs> okay, we'll take the baler off about there. Right. So, I guess, rather than going and doing the straw for the cows, we will go and pick up the windrow. I've decided that in the last few seconds I've decided that we're just going to row up the hay um, and just pretend that it's going to be okay. So just for, just for this one time. As I said once everything's set up and we're running properly I'll make sure it's a bit more realistic. Uh, so we're going to row this up and then probably take a little bit of a break and pick up some bales out the field and take these bales off here and then we'll bale up that hay and pick them up so that'll be all of today's jobs then good and ready to go or good and done should I say so that is our why have I picked up the tether? I don't know We wanted the windrow. There we go, that's better. So we now have the windrow. Which is the way it should have been. So we'll get up. This field is literally just on the right here. So we'll get this unfolded. And I will just row up as much as I can for later. But this uh, more power mod certainly works. Makes it feel a lot. Uh, smoother going up and down the hills even with this look at that as you can see now before it would have really struggled going up and down here and it's done it straight away no problems no problems at all So I'll do a lap around the headland and then I'll do a, a lap the other way around the headland. And then we'll do some in the middle and hope we can capture everything. But there's plenty of fields that need mowing. It's too late in the year for that. So really it's about getting this up. And I think I should probably plough up some of the fields um, and try and get a better yield from everything. what I feel like I need to do anyway but anyway I will time lapse so this uh, rowing and I will be back in a few minutes
Okay, so we've nearly finished rowing up this field of hay. And uh, I must admit, this tractor does look good up here. Keep taking pictures of it. <laughs> um, yeah, so we do have to bale this up at some point, but we should really probably get into these fields and pick up some bales that are already sat there. They've been there for ages. And uh, one thing I always do when I'm doing a let's play, or playing the game forever, since forever to be fair, is I always leave stuff just out in the way and it just looks messy and I want to try and sort of get on top of it and stay on top of it this time with this uh, with this let's play because of how tight the actual map is it makes sense to try and be tidy so we have finished rowing we will go and get the trailer emptied that has the silage bales on it at the minute and uh, hopefully get up into this field at the top and get that silage picked up as well. We do have all them grass bales over there, they need to be got, but hopefully it shouldn't take too long. So the Ford can drop in here for now, back with the with the tether. I'm actually thinking we put the bales in this shed, it's taller. So, I might just do that. Hopefully without breaking everything. So, we'll grab the Merlot. Drive it round. And we'll start moving some bales. See what I mean by leaving everything a mess? I've just left a roller there for no apparent reason and it's in the way. That wall does not have a collision. Strange. So we'll move this pallet and net wrap out of the way. That'll do. You know what I've just realised as well? I've got that hold up. And I could do with it. So. Put the mirror there for now. The net wrap can go in this little shed in a moment. The only problem I've got at the minute is I think it's something to do with manual attach. That going anywhere near this trailer is really, really, really laggy. Hmm. But I don't know. I don't know if it is manual attach, if it's something else, but uh, when you're towing the trailer, it's absolutely fine. It doesn't seem to uh, lag at all. But there you go. So, I'm going to release these straps now, and they're just going to go everywhere. Alright, that's not bad, actually. Just, just two fell off. I'll take it. Right, where's that mail? See what I mean by really laggy? But when you're actually in a vehicle near it, it's fine. There you go. Right, so I will move a few of these and I will be back with you hopefully when we've got a decent looking or semi-decent looking stack. Okay, so that is the trailer emptied. We'll bring it up in just a moment. We'll get a few of these bales put together so hopefully they'll be a bit easier to stack. But I am not good using a mouse to do this. I'm not good at using anything to do this by the looks of it, but there you go. So, I would like everything to be as close together as possible. So 
all these fields ready to cut again and really we shouldn't but I kind of want to so we've got four bales ready to go there we'll go and get the class tractor with the little trailer on it and drive around looks like we're going to drive through so I've not driven through these rocks yet Probably should have just driven around them. <laughs> but this uh, road goes quite a long way around, actually. Yep. Right on the edge of what is technically our land barrier. So that is about as flat as it's going to get jump back in the Merlot and load a couple of uh, bales on just to get us started. I wonder if I can bring these forks close now. I thought if I brought the forks closer together maybe it'll drop the bales closer together but obviously not. that one across if I can there we go and these two that we put here they can go on the front I can't remember exactly how many bales we actually got out of this field, but I, I feel like it was nine or something like that. Which would be nice. Nine extra bales. Right, let's see what else we can go and fetch. I will cut to when this trailer is loaded. Okay, so the trailer uh, on the other side of the hill there, with the bales on, has 10 on it. We've got two more here. But, I think what I'm going to do, rather than having to jump cut every time I need to pick bales up, I'm just going to get a bale auto loader because we're going to be doing so many bales. It's just going to take so long to do it with this trailer. So, I think we'll get rid of this and we'll buy a bale auto loader. Um, and we'll probably do that like like now or even keep this trailer to be fair and uh, we can just use it for carting a few the odd pallets about or moving um, what do you call it moving them bags of fertilizer for instance from the the old farm that we need to really go and pick up at some point 
But we've got 30,000 litres here of um, grass silage. So that's another 10 pallets to add to our nice stack that we've got going on down at the, uh, the farm. We won't go through them rocks because that's just bad news. So what I'll do is I'll get this parked up. Actually, you know what? I'll take it round nearer to the cows and then we can just empty it down there and uh, we'll use these bales first because the, the black bales from the other farm are actually whole crop silage which would be probably a better a better option to give cows, I don't know possibly, sounds like it would be yep, so we'll get that plonked in about there I know it's going to get dead laggy while I undo everything. Oh, it needs lowering first. I bet I can't now. Oh, it can. There we go. Right. So we should probably go and get a bale auto loader and then I can get all the rest of the bales picked up and I can actually, you know, make some actual videos with it. Because you don't want to watch me using a Merlot. Not too often anyway. I might do it from time to time, but for a long period of time, no way. So, can we get to the show? Yes, we can. So, anything in the sale first? No. Trailers. Bail loaders. And I'm literally going to go for... I don't know how long these are. Probably the shorter ones of these. Yeah. It's got a dolly as well. Customize. Bail auto load. Normal pin hitch. And that's 15,500, which will be worth every penny. So I will go and pick that up, and I will be back with you once we've got to that grass field, where we're going to pick up them grass bales first. I'll be back in a moment. Okay. So let's see if we can get this working. Yeah. I know it's a little bit cheaty, you know, it's uh, auto teleporting the bales into the trailer, but with the amount we've got and the amount we're going to have in the future, I think it's the only way really we can go. So let's just get all these picked up and uh, we can go from there. Obviously with it being winter we're losing light really quick as well, so I'm hoping we can get all these up and still get in the field to bale up and pick up the hay before it gets to December but who knows we should be able to get it bailed up without too many issues so we've got this bale, we've got one two hiding down here in this big dip oh bugger I'd have been stuck forever in there if I had have uh, if I didn't have that mod. Right, so that is all the grass bales picked up out of here. So we're now going to go into transporting position. We're definitely not going to get this out of that narrow gate there. This field of wheat looks really, really good. I don't know what it's like with weeds. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, it doesn't say it needs ploughing. Yeah, it needs ploughing next time, but it doesn't say anything about weeds anywhere. So expected yield, 
112 percent potential 125 uh, that's because I don't think that uh, liming took effect because I'd already seeded beforehand which is a massive shame but kind of is what it is what I might do with that wheat now I know I'm not going to be using the uh, straw either is actually just chop it up as whole crop silage and uh, throw it in a pit but that comes late next year fantastic we got out of there right so we'll get these back to the farm find a place for them which is probably going to be easier said than done hmm. much easier said than done I think I'm not going to be able to reverse this without Dolly into a shed, no chance so what I might do is just put it on that pad there oops aha Drop them about there. There we go. So, I don't know whether to leave this trailer on and see if the Ford will pull the baler. I think I will. I think I'll grab the Ford. Get rid of this tyre. Attach the hoses first. Is that, yeah. There we go. Okay, so I'll go and pick up the baler and I'll meet you in the field in just a moment. Okay, so we're pretty much back at the field. We have our baler. And we will get on with getting this baled as soon as as quickly as possible. So let's see how we get on, see see what it's like yield wise. It looks okay, it looks like it's picking up quite a bit. And we're nearly at the first one already. There we go, unloading. They don't all just roll away. I'm just wondering how many bales we'll actually get from this. I mean, we should have plenty of food to get us through for quite some time after all this is done. And then we can concentrate finally on making some money. Because that is something we really, really need to do. Because all I've done at the minute is spend, spend, spend. All these bales are going to roll away and I'll never find them ever again, as well. Somebody mentioned in comments as well about a baler that turns the bales on their end so they don't roll away. 
might be worth looking at that once we've got a little bit of extra money. Um, definitely. But until then, we're sort of going to stick with this and have to make do. Right, I will time lapse this and I'll be back with you in a few moments. Okay, so we're just picking up these uh, few hay bales, and I can see at least one or two that may have, you know, ran away from us. There's one over there, for instance. We'll go and grab that. And we definitely did more than five bales, so there's got to be some lying about somewhere in the undergrowth. Uh, there's one. Just hiding in the trees here. There's actually two there. keep count of how many I've done and then I'll be, I would actually know. Let's go and have a quick look at the top. I don't think there's any more now. That might be it. Looks like another sunset. A very nice sunset on uh, Fairhead as well. I'm actually going to see if I can get a really nice thumbnail while I'm up here with this. Right, so we'll get this back down to the yard. Um, we'll move on to December, and to finish the episode then, we'll get some herbicide in the sprayer. I'm going to spray herbicide on the canola field. It's a nice, quick, simple job that needs doing. Why did I come this way? I know I could get up this way, but getting down this way is not quite as simple. As long as I keep it in the middle, it'll be alright. The trailer should follow me. Ooh. Right, okay. So I'll move on to December, and I will see you in just a moment. Okay, so it's actually... Uh, started to snow but welcome to December I'm hoping that it actually sticks later on in the day that would be, uh, be really nice to see what this map looks like with snow stuck on the ground quite a scenic place but we definitely need to kill off these weeds so we're going to do that I just put a thousand litres in this that should be enough for this tiny little field I should be able to get in here nice and easy I do a lot of crashing today. A lot of crashing. But we shouldn't do any uh, crop damage with this. So we'll get this unfolded. Back right up to the fence. about there. Right, this will take all of a few seconds, so let's turn it on. Yeah, killing the weeds just as I expected it to. And it won't use much at all. Do 
do need to close that gate. And that is literally all it needed. So we're now folding back up. And then we'll go and put this sprayer away again. So the yield on this one is about 113%. And is it, yeah, it's literally again, I think the nitrogen uh, didn't take effect, which is a shame, but we can always get it next time. Then again, next time around, I might see if I can get into uh, GE, get rid of this hedge, and then make that one big grass field and just connect the two together. But we shall see. But, it's a lovely wintry December. That is all I've got time for today. If you enjoyed the episode, even though it was a little bit up and down, please like, comment, subscribe. And if there's anything that you would like me to see, uh, like to see me do on this series, please let me know. I'm open to ideas, criticisms, constructive criticism, in any way. Um, if there's anything you feel I've missed, anything you think I should learn, let me know, and I will uh, try and implement them to the series. So yeah. That's all I've got time for, like I said. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time for more on Fairhead on Farming Simulator 22. Goodbye.